Hey guys, Lunar here, and welcome to another episode of Building Belterra. Today, we are going to finish off final building in our four build kind of garage here. The final building is going to be a car garage, which is going to go into this space. And once we've done that, we just have to do a few interiors and some builds on the outside, and then we'll be completely finished it. So what you're going to need to start with is iron blocks and stone bricks. In the first block, if you go from the corner of the car wash here, you're going to count along by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 forward. Okay, so it's in line with the stone slab on the left hand side of this second block here. Okay, so that's the edge there. I'm going to make that go along by three. And then I'm going to leave a space of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place down another three, and then the same again, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a final three. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a garage door on the inside here, so you can just fill in that space there. Okay, and it's going to be five tall, so three, four, five. Okay, and then now you know how tall the, the walls are going to be because it's going to go just one above the door. So you can fill in just your stone brick all the way up to one above the door and you can bring it along and then you can fill all this in all the way up to one above the door and then the same again over here. Okay, um, but this door here is going to be different. This one's going to be open, so what we're going to do is just place it one on the inside, the same as over there. It's going to be sticking out of the way, so it's the same length. It's going to be five, so it's three already, four and five. Okay. Well, maybe we'll make it one more just so it looks more sticking out like that you can't tell that it's not the right size from there so and then what we're gonna do now is go build the two side walls 31 along so that's one so we have to add another 30 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 9, 30. And if you've done it right, it should stick out two more than the car wash. Okay. I'm just going to bring this side along as well. So they will be exactly the same. And then you can attach the two together. Okay, so that's going to be the size of the garage. Now in the original build I have this wall is kind of just plain, but I'm just going to add in a little bit of detail to it this time. So let's see, I'm going to take stone brick stairs and I'm just going to place in a pattern going up like that there and then a line of stone again and then I'm going to do that about three times or something let's see 
So that's two. And then one more time. So it's just a step, then an upside down one. And then I'm just going to place steps going regular there. And I'll make that like three wide or something, so. And then a line of brick again. And then I'm going to copy that on the other side and then see how much space we have left in the middle. So it's just one in the corner. Make sure that it's level. And then it's blocks all the way up there. Upside down once. Okay, and then I'm just going to repeat this pattern if it looks good on the other side. And what do I have there? Three. One, two, three. And these ones are all facing the same direction. No upside down ones. And that can go up. So we've got a space of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could get four more of these, I think. Yeah, that might work out. I'll just add in some more. And the only reason I'm adding these in is just so it's less boring to look at. I'm also going to change some of the blocks so that they're kind of a mixture of just regular crack stone and the mossy stone as well. Uh, maybe we can make this a double one this time, will we? So, double that one. And uh, what way? Upside down. A line, and then we have one block left where we can just make it regular way up. Let's see. Yeah, okay, I like that. It's definitely a lot less boring than just being flat. Okay, so I'm going to copy that on the other side. And if you want to know how to build the other side, then obviously you can just rewind the video and copy what we did here. And for the back, okay, it's just going to be plain wall for now, going all the way up. And now, once we've done this, we can add on the roof, and then we can do the other wall. So just make this one level with the side wall here. It does go up a bit more and once we've added the roof on. Okay, so back at the front, you're going to go... Oh, you're going to use block of iron for the roof. Okay, so place a block right in the end there, and then stick out over the edge. And then up diagonal by one, and make two there. And then same again, diagonal and two there. And diagonal, this one's going to be three, because that's going to be the top. And then you can go back down, two, back down again, and this one's three. And that's the middle. And then you can continue the same on this side as there. So back up again by two. Up, we're at three, and then it's just twos all the way back down to the other side. Okay. So that's going to be the roof that gets filled in all the way to the end. For the top of wall here, all that I've done is fill it in, but one behind. 
And again, we can add in some more detail to the wall, but we can do that in another video. One where we go around, we have to add in some detail to all the road and things. We can do some detail on these walls. So I'm just going to build this wall here, exactly the same as that one. And I'm going to fill in the iron roof all the way along. And you can bring up the wall at the back. All the way up to the roof. It should look something like that. It's not one in like the other side, it's just flat all the way up. Okay, and we can stick this over the edge by one, I think. And then once we've done that, we can add in some more details. And we can do the little car park bit here. Okay, so I'm just going to speed this bit up. Alright, that's what we have so far now. The actual building is finished. If you followed what we did before, you'll kind of notice that the uh, both sides were different, but I guess it doesn't matter. I've changed this side so they were even, I had to uh, change a few blocks, but they're uh, it doesn't matter if they're not completely the same on both sides. Alright, what we can do now is finish off the back bit here. I'm just going to take some stone slabs and iron doors and I'm going to bring two slabs along there and then I'm going to go up by two there, along two there, up by two there and just place one there just now. And then I'm going to dig out six high there. I'm going to place two iron doors on the inside. You can place that on button so you can get back out. And I'm going to place two glowstones on top of the doors. Like that. And then you can bring the slabs all the way up over the glowstone. And place two there. So that's the front door or the back door. And then I'm going to add in the chisel quartz block just to make it look like there's air conditioning coming from the back here or some kind of ventilation. I'm going to place it up by five after this block here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then it's just going to go along and up into the middle here and it's going to be two from the top well three from the top like that okay and then i'm going to place three more slabs along and then we have our recycling bins so i've got green red and blue color and on top i have well, on the side I have a button and on top of them I have some black carpet. So again, miss a space, place them down, I'm going to make them too high. Place the button and the carpet can go on top. Ok, 
Okay, so that's the design here finished. And you can take iron bars, and I'm going to place a line of iron bars going right along from there to one away from the edge. And I'm going to make it too high. Okay. Or maybe I'll make it three high. Yeah, I think I have it three high. Yeah, three high. And take your pistons and you can dig out a little rectangle here and fill it in with the pistons just to make it look like it kind of has means like it's a no entry kind of zone there. I'm actually going to make it two away from the edge there because going along the edge right along here is going to be white wool. So you can add that in just now. And the final thing we're going to do in this video, just to finish off the back, I'm going to build a little truck. Okay, so I'm going to make it red wool, white wool, and also you're going to need carpet of the same color, fence, just regular fence, glass block, and I'm going to use wood buttons. And I think that's it. I've also got a few things at the back. So I have a crafting table and a chest. And we'll also need, actually, coal for the wheels. Well, we can actually add in the wheels first. So I'm going to get rid of the carpets. You also need regular button for the wheels. Okay. So, in line with this slab here, and one away from the edge, I'm going to place a block of coal. Okay, well actually it's going to be one to the left of that block there. And then I'm going to leave a space of three, one, two, three, and place in another block. And that's going to be where the wheels are. You can leave a space of one and place in your other two wheels. And I'm just going to place buttons on the insides of them. There. Alright, now you can take stone slab and you can fill in the top layer of these wheels. So leave a space on the ground. And it's going to go right along. It sticks out one at the back and it also sticks out one at the front. So it should look like that so far. All right, now we can use all the other things. I'm going to take back out the carpet. Okay, right down the middle, you can place a line of white. And you can place red at both of the sides. And this is going to be the front here. So I'm going to place a glass block line going across the front, one away from the front, and put a line of blocks behind it, make sure that the colours are the same. And I'm going to place a fence just to make a little back bit here. And then on the roof we can just place our carpet, just making sure that the colours match up still, like that. I'm going to place them on the front as well couple of buttons for headlights and I think that is everything we can add in some backlights here as well and I'm gonna add in workbench and the chest okay so that's our little work truck there and I think that's all we're gonna do in this episode in the next one we can start on the inside of here and we may get started on the inside of of this building as well, or we might just finish off the outside. But either way, there will probably be two videos left for this build, okay? 
So guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with the videos. And I will see you next time.